Hey Scorpio, welcome back everybody. Thank you guys so very much for all your views, your likes, and your subscribes. Let's get right at it, Scorpio. Let's get some positive vibes going for Scorpio, please, Spirit. What is it that's happening for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know about? Scorpio, please, Spirit. The Akashic Records. Clearing old stories. Releasing past lives. Getting free from the past. Acturian light codes, recalling your power, future thinking. Huh, you could be getting a lot of downloads. This emerald tablet activation, cosmic ordering, divine alchemy, conscious manifesting. The sword of light, divine protection, cords are cut, breakthrough energy, cutting cords with... Uh, Clearing old stories, the Akashic Records, Soul Star Activation, Fulfilling Soul Contracts. Hmm. Hmm. Someone has got a lot of power here. Someone has the power to uh, go into the Akashic Records. You could be studying... Uh, karmic lineage or the Akashic records to find out your soul purpose, your soul plan. Things are being activated. It's like cutting away. Oh, damn. So some of you are clearing out old stories, things of the past, things that were written in the Akashic records or learning about the Akashic records finding out about your soul purpose or why things are the way that they are in this life. But it's also fulfilling soul contracts, things that were written in the Akashic Records. Hmm. Hang on. Spirit's telling me to get this karmic right now to confess to what they're doing. What is this karmic energy doing, Spirit? I'm feeling suspicious here. Yeah. See? I can tell he's unhappy here with me. I'm the one dealing with this bullshit in your place. Oh? He's a good person and he deserves better than me. I'm envious of you because he has deep feelings for you. I have depression and I'm feeling lonely. This karmic is confessing. <laughs> ah, so this karmic may have bit off more than they can chew here, Scorpio. They might have gone messing around with the Akashic Records trying to end soul contracts with you and get this person instead of you. Your person could be saying, or this karma could be saying, they're in it for the sex, nothing more. Saying he feels good with me, but... I have depression and feeling lonely. They're envious of you because he has feelings for you. This karmic is a nut job. I have unhealthy habits that he doesn't know about. But we are learning to deal with our toxic behaviors. We're not on the same page or level. I'm telling you to mind your own business. This is a, more than a one-night stand. Ooh. The karmic is saying he doesn't even have what I want. 
so it's out of jealousy and envy of you that they want this person. Someone has gone into the Akashic Records and has tried to rewrite a soul contract. Yeah, good luck with that person. Karmic, I knew it was a karmic energy, I knew it. It was writ, these contracts were writ before we got to Earth, okay? What is written is what is written. But there's a snoopy-ass karmic energy that is trying to, by one mean or another, access the Akashic Records and trying to twist and alter destiny. <laughs> ah, how about that one, Scorpio? Mm. Shift your energy. There's a time to take a time out, a pause. To shift your... Again. No, it's the karmic trying to come through for crying out loud. It's the karmic looking at this book trying to change the energies. Creating a pause. Oh my God, because they can't handle the fact that you are a beacon. Can't handle the fact that this person loves you. You've expanded. You are well, like way above this person. Even your person is well above the person, the karmic. Hmm. Because someone is trying to mess with the Akashic Records, I knew damn well they were. I don't know if they're some kind of dark witch or have some kind of powers but they're trying to change a soul contract that was writ before you even got here hmm ha, out of anger and jealousy and resentment toward you toward scorpio trying to block this from happening. Mm. Mm. Could even cause their own death. If they're messing with the Akashic Records, trying to trap some person by accessing the Akashic Records and trying to shift the energy. They could be a poser or a pretender or a shapeshifter. Because it was writ for you to have this abundance, this Ten of Pentacles, this happiness, you're an Empress energy. You're strong, you're a warrior, and they don't like it. The karmic is feeling like a victim. I'm taking all this bullshit in your place. Well, they chose it. So the karmic is getting uh, in unstable. Hmm. Whenever I talk about the karmic, I seem to have tech 
technical difficulties. Just bear with it. It's one of the bullshit things the karmics hate me doing. So this is from a past life. It's writ. Carried forward. Look at you. <laughs> Nine and ten of pentacles. The sun, the empress, and the strength card. <sniffs> Told ya. Akashic Records. Somebody is going to the Akashic Records. Holy man. Mmm. They're a fool, spirit saying. They're trying to change the energies. Trying to change the contract. What the hell is this? Because they're jealous and envy of you and they wanted what you had. They're under spiritual judgment for doing this. They're facing spiritual judgment for whatever they did. You've got a nasty ass dark karmic energy around you that's jealous of you, envious of you, and tried to change a contract that was writ before you ye were born, before you were here, Scorpio. Could be an emperor who is going to be heavily burdened for breaking your heart. Oh my Lord, have mercy. That's why there's a pause. Hmm, some truth, some clarity. Hmm. Somebody tried to alter or change a soul contract. Assessing information. Hmm. Hmm. What? They're being blocked. Their finances are being blocked. This is the past. And this is clearing out past uh, life karma. They're spying on you. Trying to access records. Trying to access the Akashic records. I'm not sure what this is. There's a high priestess here. I'm like, I know it's she who knows. I know this is someone very spiritual. There also could be someone in this high priestess energy that is trying to gain the information and knowledge about the, high, the Akashic Records. Trying to set up roadblocks and obstacles for you. Uh, they're very self-centered. They're sneaky ass. Spirits block them. They've been denied access. <laughs> Ah, this is a 1111 contract, a twin flame contract. Hmm. You're in for a rude awakening going to be a big hurdy here. It's 
someone's feeling insecure, it's a third party. Hmm. This was promised to a temperance angel. This has been promised to a temperance angel, someone angelic. It's their destiny. You can't alter destiny. So somebody may have gone to a high priestess to access the Akashic Records to alter destiny. Holy f is what I'm going to say. Good luck with that one. <laughs> they're deluding themselves. <laughs> yeah. And they're going to get a big owie here. There's consequences. Consequences for doing whatever was done here. And they're worried about it. This karmic is very depressed. Or is telling us that the person, your person is depressed with them. Very nervous. Self-sabotage. Hmm. Says I'm wasting my time here on this contract. Yeah, it is a waste of time. Because they're going to walk away from that karmic. You have too much honor and integrity and this person holds you in a high uh, official position here. So they're passionate about you. And this karmic's just holding up the show here. They're gonna, it's gonna befall them. This other lover is gonna end up getting betrayed because why? This person is moving the hell on. Don't trust the other lover. It's gonna be justice served. And then they're gonna be sad. They're gonna be crying and regretting whatever they did. It's almost like this. This is a darker karmic energy who thinks they're like they just are like thinking that they can interfere with destiny or that they can change the Akashic record somehow. No, 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 no. Spirits got them blocked. Because these two belong together. That's their true love. That was the blessing. I mean, some magician is trying to interfere. Using magic to like spell work. Did that say spell work here? So the karmic has been assigned. Oh, see, that's the problem. The karmic's been assigned to teach this person a lesson. And it's like saying, I'm the one dealing with all this shit. <laughs> this bullshit, not you. <laughs> they 
they have depression, they're feeling lonely, so the karmic could be your person. If this person you, you are dealing with is in low vibing energy, they're karmic -y. But the karmic knows that this person's in love with you. They're saying this is more than a one night stand situation. So who cares what it is? It's still a karmic situation. And they're using Mm. manipulating this person's emotions but they know this is their destiny they know that this is the person they're supposed to be with this is the ten of cups Ooh. Scorpio there's someone in love with you Hmm. This person, your person might think of themselves as a magician. And truthfully, if they're your match, they are. They are a magician. If they are your person. They have a lot of skills, manifestation skills. They are the magician. Now they're higher ranking the same as you are. But this karmic had to teach them some kind of lessons. Somebody's doing funny business with the Akashic Records. Hmm. Your love life could be affected by children. Stay optimistic about your love life. It is time for you to take back control of your life. Hmm. It is to do with a past life relationship. The situation is calling for you to have trust. Oh, well, see, this person could have been... Oh, they know you're their true love. Hmm. So this karmic figured that they could trap them with children or marrying them. Oh my frick. And it's unrequited love. It's deceptive love. That's why you've released. Oh, they have to. You've released. It's a player energy. I'm just telling you. This person is wants your forgiveness. Calling in their soulmate. I told you they're manifesting. Using the power of attraction to make the effort. They have to heal some family issues. They want to reconcile with you. They could have reconciled with a karmic or using a karmic to heal some family issues. I don't know, man. Hmm. 
Whoa, dudes, this is funky energy. I'm going to be real with you, Scorpio. This is all coming into play in, you know, with that Leo portal being open, all kinds of weird shit's happening. People are changing contracts. People are accessing the Akashic Records, trying to, like, eliminate, change destiny, and it, they're terribly, terribly going to get a backfire. They don't realize that. Now, you could be this high priestess as well, but your person is also high-ranking in the spiritual realm. Hmm. not sure who's accessing these Akashic records like it was writ before you were born what is destined is destined and this karmic energy is trying to rewrite destiny you cannot rewrite destiny with a tulip I'm sorry but anybody who does that they can't they they want to alter what the universe is ordained. They can't do that without a backlash happening to them. Like you cannot alter destiny. For real. You are a beacon for this person. Your light is a beacon to them. They don't know why they have this strong attraction to you. But I think that they know that they are. But this karmic energy is somehow taking the backlash here. It is the karmic who's feeling like the victim because it's backfiring on them. Whatever they're doing, it's backfiring. The karmic served a purpose in this situation, but they weren't supposed to keep the person. They were supposed to release them. It was to clear some karmic debt from the past and then let them go, but they want to hold on to them. They want to hold them by, by using children as weapons and marriage and... A karmic lesson is to teach that lesson and then release them and move on. But they want, it's looking like they want to trap them with kids and with a marriage situation. They're trying to like, they're trying to alter destiny and it's not going to be allowed. You cannot alter destiny. It doesn't matter what kind of, magician you are what is destined what is ordained is what is ordained the universe is not gonna like start going back into the akashic records changing plans and altering plans for people destiny is destiny they're certainly not going to allow like only certain people are allowed into the Akashic Records to begin with. Granted access to them. But if you misuse the information that is in those Akashic Records, it will befall you. Like the Akashic Records can be very informative and very helpful in clearing karmic uh, debts and stuff like that. 
But if you're using it to abuse it or misuse it, it will befall you. It's like the Ark of the Covenant. Only certain people are allowed to access it, you know. It's secrets. It's things that were writ before we were even born. People and situations why we're brought into people's lives to begin with. And when someone deliberately goes to alter those, it's like death can befall you. You know what I mean? You've already heard of like stories of like, <clears throat> whoever is not meant to uh, look into the Ark of the Covenant and things like that, then there's often, you know, curses placed upon those things. And it can cause your death. And this karmic energy seems to be trying to alter what was written in the Akashic Records. And if they keep doing it, death could befall them. That's why maybe they're feeling like the victim. They know this person is unhappy with them said, I'm the one dealing with his bullshit in, in your place. Well, that's the job of the karmic. They can't change it. I mean, maybe the karmic's trying to get out of this situation. I don't know. But I do know that... <sighs> the karmic feels like the victim, but the karmic put themselves there. The karmic is saying, I'm the one dealing with this bullshit in your place. Like, you should have been dealing with this person's bullshit. But the karmic is the one's, that's their job of the karmic. Because of whatever they did in the past. You know what I mean? They gotta be the one to deal with the bullshit. And then this person is supposed to come back to you like, a new person, you know, ascended and elevated. I don't know, man. I'm just telling you, if this karma keeps messing around in the records. Yeah, it's not going to be very pretty. But it is clearing out karmics, uh, releasing past lives, and clearing out old stories from the past that keep repeating in this lifetime. For that reason, it's a good purpose. Because you can find out, oh yes, this is what I need to release. This is what I need to learn. This is, those are for trustworthy people to release old stories, like old karmic crap that's followed you from a past life and this person was supposed to release the karmic maybe now in this lifetime you release them for whatever they did to you in a past life you know just trust the universe the universe is asking you to have trust you're gonna have to just trust the universe knows what universal business hmm. but if this person figured that they were above you <laughs> not the case at all they are with the karmic because they want to feel superior. They're not even on the same page. They are completely different frequencies. They could not 
the karmic is like stays there because they're insecure but this person thinks they're superior over the karmic maybe they thought they were superior over you i think that bullshit baffles brains here scorpio so i'm thinking that this person is full of bs and and that they're gonna have to be put in their place by the universe because yes they are a magician yes they're a great manifester but if you get too much in your ego it's going to be taken from you spirit will take this person's gifts from them and give them to someone who is trustworthy hmm. interesting read gotta say your reads are never boring they're very interesting you have a lot of stuff going on scorpio yes indeed you do but it's looking like you are being sent all the light you are being sent all the protection all the gifts all the ascension tools trust you're in the right hands scorpio whatever is going on just trust it was all destined to be for whatever reasons we don't know and we're not back in the past you know that's where the akashic records have been writ you know but your reads are never dull they're never boring you know they might be full of of pain and they might have had suffering but who hasn't you have a lot of unique gifts you have star guided codes being sent to you and whoa it's just other gifts that are coming in for you hmm. I think you were divinely guided to walk away from this person and let the karmic handle the BS that they say they gotta handle Huh. take care everyone and good luck